Atusha, City on the Sea. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. What's going on, as you've gathered? My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Can you blame him? His sister was supposed to get married there. But he knew what was going to happen that day. He could have at least warned her. But what if he wanted to but couldn't? He must be eating him up inside. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Huh? Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. All right, now we're going to go to the hotel. Now, first things first, let's talk to him again. Maybe. Remember, should you have it? Can I shop till you drop? Access your shop, man. Ooh, more of this. The crystal. Can I can't talk to you now. What should I buy? Well, look who it is. There we go. Jeez, took a while. So. What brings you here? So he's like your average tipster. We can get uh, information about the locate area we're in. I need that for a side quest I'm doing for Viv. I can recommend anything the on the menu. The food. I'm certain all of them can be. We can learn to cook. Jeebus. Let's go ahead and eat this. Of course, I'll have it ready in a mo. Oof. Oh yeah, here it comes. I dare say I could make this at camp. All right, so I got that. Scroll down. The sea bass saute. Uh, there are a few shops we can stop by as well that would give us recipes and whatnot. We can do some hunts. Looking to put your skills to the My day. whole thing is currently filled You're to the brim, so I can't do any of that. Um, let's see here. Here is a shop hey where we can there. probably get a, a cookbook. Yep. As well as some recipe, or some, uh, ingredients. There we go. The Iron Chef. Lovely. See you later. That's Which it. gives us up, a chowder. With a new recipe. <laughs> I can taste this for you. There is another shop 
somewhere. Oop, hold on. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Yeah, there's another shop somewhere where we can buy two more cookbooks now that will give us uh, two more recipes that we can learn. So, care to take a cruise? All right. So, where in the seven hells do I need to go? Gentle take a look at the map. So I need to go over here. Lavelle Station. Okay. It has been a pleasure. I will most certainly come back here off screen to do some uh do all my level grinding. Do not be surprised if by next set we can take on Fantastic. the uh final dungeon back. that I mentioned earlier. Huh. There's a lot of things I want to do. But and since we have access to Altisha, we also have access to the three times this, EXP no. modifying about it. Uh, place. Let's save. Yeah, this one. All right. Hey, guy. Gintiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Umbra is like uh, Gentiana. She's he is a uh, messenger spirit that serves Lu uh, that serves the house of Lucius, as far as I can tell. So essentially, he's magic. So with Umbra, we can now revisit past memories, quote unquote, revisit. Uh, characters who retain their current level and abilities, Rental Chocobos are automatically returned to the post. The place you called Umbra will be set as your last rest spot. So pretty much any place where we can rest outside of camps, we can also call Umbra and travel back to Altisha. We can also use him to travel from Altissa back to the mainland. Uh, we can also sail if you want to. Golden Key, Cape Cam, and Altissa. That's right. Come on. Let's go see the dress. Oh, I just kind of want to get a picture of her. I also believe at this it's point, Gentiana will start appearing in pictures too. Sounds like we're close. Oh, I can't. That's a shame. That's a shame. Greetings. So there are two shop or two places we can rest. This one is the uh, three times modifier. Very well. And this one Greetings. is a regular modifier. 1.5. So we can rest here if we want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call Umbra, and we're going to head back. We can literally also call Umbra specifically for the purpose of giving him pats, <laughs> which is great. All right, so head back to the past. Ooh, nice. Let's save his picture. Why not? <laughs> Alright. And that shouldn't... Okay, good. It didn't tally up our EXP. Wunderbar. This will take us back to Cape Cam, I believe. If not, it'll be up. At, up at, we'll be up at Am uh, Hammerhead. But with this, I can now do some serious level grinding, which is great. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be doing that off-screen. Um, set four literally went live today. It is the 18th of September, so I have time, <laughs> to say the least. The problem is, between this set and the next set, it's going to take time. I'm going to be probably uh, be rusty by the time we get to set 14. If I don't decide to do another set for whatever reason. Bear in mind, though, um, continuing the story at this point will sort of railroad you the rest of the story. 
Uh, for the most part, this game is pretty linear in that regard. Most of the meat of the game is the side quest you can do. Hi. Right. Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The hunters are already looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more. Got it. On our way. Uh, that's a side quest we'll be doing later on. I'm actually kind of surprised it popped up right now. Um. Hmm. Illuminate. You're such a nerd. I kind of thought that would have popped up later. Anyway, as I was saying, the game will uh, railroad you forward into the end game at this point. If I continue onwards, um, we will still be able to go back to Altitia and back to here. But it won't be until late, late game when we can pull that off. Which does suck. Alright, map point. Fast travel. So hopefully I can actually do something and not the entire set was just... that. But uh, off-screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of the hunts, because now that we're at this point in the game, we can do, I think, all the hunts up to a Hunter Rank 10, which is the final rank. Uh, doing all that will unlock a hidden boss, which is awesome. Um, after that, I'll do side quests, such as that uh, Haunted Poet. I might actually save the Haunted Photo for later. Well, I'll, I'll think about it when I get to that point. I'll finish up the dog tags, all the other stuff I need to do, so. Yeah, looking forward to it. <clears throat> Come on. Uh, so by the time next set rolls around, if I've been doing this constantly, I'll have pretty much OP as fuck characters. We'll see. Ow. Hey, who's up for a bite? Come on. There we go. Hi, it's Cindy. Take Some sizable seismic act. It's the darndest thing. Ain't never felt so much as a rumble around these parts. Got a lot of folks worried. Got me worried too. Ain't easy tuning up a shaking chassis. Anywho, hope Dave and y'all can do something. We will do that later, because, uh, kind of important then. But what we want is this. This looks interesting. Don't it, though? Actually, it's a good thing you're here, because I was meaning to talk to you. I know the regalia is built for the open road. But what if I told you I could help you get the old girl off the beaten path? <laughs> I tell you it sounds too good to be true. And I tell you you're wrong. You see, I was digging around the garage when I found those schematics in a box full of Pawpaw's old knickknacks. Looks to me like he was fixing to take a car that looked just like the regalia off-road. But do you really think it'll work? I sure do. <laughs> All it'll take is a little ingenuity and a lot of elbow grease. And the right parts, of course. Fortunately, I'm flat out of deluxe tires. If it ain't too much to ask, would you mind fetching them for me? Alright, so we're going to do this quest. This quest, um, wasn't in the original game. Um... <laughs> I would drive like, like yeah. Cindy to find a way but um, from the restrictions of the road. In the original version of the game, uh, on by following instructions, which were drawn up by Sid, I might huh? add. Though I'm curious what she meant by a car like the Regalia. Huh. Maybe Dad had a spare. If he drove the car anything like we do, he probably needed one. True. Um, as I was trying to say, Nexus, that's my girl. Ye. Wow, they got a lot of different stuff here, huh? That's how it works. Okay, so let's pop the quest into uncharted territory. All right, as I was trying to say, 
Where is a good campsite so I can make it daytime? Oh, there's one right next to it. Good. Um, Map. In the original version of this game, um, this quest was not existing. Right even, even after uh, patches... Oh, how do I phrase this? Uh, this quest was not existent in the base game. The reward for the quest, though, did come um, about a year or two, I think, after the game's original release. And it was just something you got. Uh, you just go talk to Sydney, uh, the Sydney, uh, and she will uh, do what you do the modification. That's it. Like there wasn't even a cutscene. There was no dialogue. It was just done. Um, I think after the release of Episode Prompto, they changed it to where it was this quest. If I'm remembering correctly. It may, it may have been uh, around the time episode Iggy came out. Oof. But uh, needless to say, this wasn't in the base game, nor was this quest. Uh, when I played this game, uh, and did the Let's Play on it originally, uh, this wasn't even an idea. Like, they didn't even hint this being a possibility. So it's kind of cool that they uh, added, added it in. And it is a pretty cool uh, thing that you get. I believe there may have been a. Uh... Oh, I was like, is, is my truck about farting? It is about that time. <laughs> um, I do like the idea that they did this. Uh, I wish they may have done. They would have gone a little further, and instead of the royal vessel just being a boat. Like, that could have been what got us there in the storyline. The Royal Vessel was just the regalia that, you know, shifts into a car like all James Bond. Or shifts into a boat like James Bond. That would have been cool. But, uh, I'm okay with it as it is. I can't really think of much else they could have done. Ah, hmm. uh, the, red, the Red Mist. That is definitely a side quest I will have to do. Or start, I should say. Although, take that, take that I've started. I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm have to bust a base eventually. A bit without you. Oh, yeah. Couldn't get the fire going. You could have just cast a spell. Kind of overkill, <laughs> don't you think? Hopeless. Next time, I'll show you hacks how it's done. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, wait till morning. There we go. Let's go get those tires. So if I'm doing if I'm doing my mental math correctly, next set we should be able to get the last optional royal arm, which awesome. Um, if that doesn't take too long, is this the place Cindy was talking about? Oops. Most likely. I imagine there are quite a few imperial leftovers lying around. Fair enough. If that doesn't take too long, we'll do a, a few other side stuff. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're looking for giant-ass tires. Like that one. Obviously, we need five. Wait, four. Tactor! You can break here! Norco's Ascension Coin. Nothing to it. Was not expecting a cactuar to just come running out and just like, oh, hi. That kind of caught me off guard. Alright, next tire. That makes two. Should be painfully obvious what Cindy's idea is, especially if you looked at the, uh, the blueprints. Alright, there's three. You knocked. Got it. Gator. Kill it. Yeah. There we go. The cactuar needle. Even though I don't really need it. Cindy, give me a break. 
I don't really needle it. Sorry. And on we go. <laughs> that cricket, yeah. goddamn. Right. I make a bad pun, and all I hear is a cricket chirping. Like, uh huh. I don't need sound effects. I know I'm horrible. Can I? I can't open anything. Huh? All right. That means there's another tire around here. That just happened to miss or something. Is that tire? Hmm. Well, we're here. That miss one out here. Nope. I'm back there. Man, am I tired of looking for this tire? Ugh. I hate myself too, don't worry guys. That cricket isn't helping. Not up here. Where is that tire? I mean, it's not like I can go through a door. Back here? There it is! Why are they so heavy? Uh, why do we have to go? Uh, baby's back at the, uh, ha back at Hammerhead. Install parts to the to remodel the regalia and improve its performance. Hey, speaking of which, I do have another uh, quest we could go on to get uh, high beams for the car that basically make it so that when you uh, when we're driving uh, at night, lights turn on, it's UV light, so demons just scatter. I'll have to do that on screen because it's in a dungeon. Well, we brought you the parts. Thanks, y'all. You boys must be beat after lugging those things all the way back here. On the bright side, now y'all can kick back while I fix her up. Just say the word and I'll get to work. You sure you can handle it by yourself? You offering to help? I'll be fine. Besides, Papa gave me some advice. Sorta. He said, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't mess up. I reckon that was his way of telling me I'm on my own. Well, far be it for me to defy Sid's advice. That's probably for the best. Anywho, y'all just sit tight. Time for me to work my magic. All right, time to get the new regalia. It's a version of the car I'm not going to drive all that often, just because it looks kind of weird. Although I might, I might drive it around. The Type D takes your adventure off road. It's Howdy, Prince. How are y'all liking your new ride? Gotta say, it's pretty cool. Well, ain't that grand. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a satisfied customer. Truth is, though, the old girl's got a lot more power under the hood than she's using right now. With a few adjustments, I could get her real souped up. Sure. What kind of adjustments are we talking about? Can't say just yet. Every car's got a different set of needs, so the only way to know for sure is to take them for a test drive or two. Right now, we've got the regalia running at a steady purr, but we're gonna need to push her to the limit if we want to find out how to really make her roar. A little more work and she'll be the cat's meow. Mm-hmm. So, what do you say? I can get a test track ready in a jiffy. All you need to do is get behind the wheel and take the old girl for a spin. Leave it to me. I'll uh, do this later. Y'all keeping at it? Alright, let's get out. Change to type D to show it off. Yes. The Regalia ate another car. You have to look in the background. <laughs> so just Cindy just went over there, took took that car, just like, okay, 
Well, it's mental for parts. She is. What do you think? <laughs> nice. to find out. Let's see how far she can go. So yeah, the Regal is now a monster truck, <laughs> which is just fantastic. I'll customize her off-screen. Alright, Type D Regalia is equipped with off-road capability. Press circle? Yep. Uh, with the gr uh, when the green indicator is lit to perform a jump, smart steering will activate at outposts in other areas until... or unfit for driving. Uh, the Type D is too heavy to push, so keep your eyes on the gas tank. So essentially, run out of gas, no, can't no, use it too no much. Rules. And no one to hold us back. But the cool thing about this, I'm so to show off... For this test drive? Oh, we are gonna ace it. Well, there's no doubt in my mind the car will pass the test. But I don't know if I can say the same for the driver. If past and experiences are any jump. indication, he's failed before he's even begun. Gee, thanks guys. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. Cindy, you have seriously outdone yourself. <laughs> yeah, never thought I'd see the day. And yet, here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take your first spin. Yeah, problem is singles gas pretty quickly. Um, in case you can't tell. So, we have to be careful with how we use her. But, pretty much anywhere a Chocobo can reach, um, the Regalia can now as well. Including the, uh, rings surrounding the Disc of Cothus. The only problem is, it's easy to, uh, flip your car and break it. Which will cause the game over. Uh, like I said when we were getting the tires, essentially this was just something you got during an update. And all you have to do is go talk to Cindy, ch click change the type D, and you get the and you get the monster truck. That's all it was. Uh, I'm really glad they included a quest, even though the quest is bare bones as fuck. So, yeah. But there's literally no real point to doing this apart from getting... Just driving. Um... There's no hidden areas you can get to with the regalia like this, as far as I know. To do this. Um, no real secrets, like I just said. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. So yeah, I like it. I might keep it around for a while just because. Ooh, boy. Jump. Don't drive in first person. <laughs> That's horrifying. But uh, there are racetracks that Cindy just mentioned that we can do that will give us, I believe, EXP and AP, as well as, I think, modifiers for the Type D so we can uh, have better fuel efficiency, drive faster, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> I've never tested those, so I don't know. I just sort of went, okay, it's kind of cool, I went back to the regular regalia. But, quick way from A to B, straight line, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. You can't also... Like, I don't think we can just jump into uh, Hammerhead like this. Let's regain our focus. Oh, we can. And it automatically does this. Whenever we go into a... Let's regain our focus. Area like this. Hey, who's up for a bite? So it's kind of cool. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the set. By the time I come back, I'll probably be level 99. <laughs> we'll see. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.